I think the entire notion of putting religious texts in public school classrooms violates the First Amendment, which states that Congress shall make no law respecting the establishment of a religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof. Basically, that the state is not to interfere in religious affairs and religious affairs are not to interfere with the state. It's a separation of church and state. The Ten Commandments are problematic because of a couple of the commandments, which are both religion-specific. It's not referring to any pagan god or goddesses. It's not referring to the universe. It's referring to the God of the Bible. So, commandment one, you shall have no other gods before me. Commandment number three, you shall not take the Lord your God's name in vain. Those aren't exactly freedom-loving commandments. The first one demands that everyone believe in a Christian God. The third one demands that people respect Christianity. Those are completely unreasonable demands. I don't care if the rest of the commandments are decent, those two are BS. Unfortunately, I think we're going to see a lot more of this type of legislation as adults of different eras of thought fight in public schools over the dominance of the types of things that everyone is expected to believe without hesitancy, without evidence, without question. It's going to be interesting to watch play out. How far will Project 2025 play out if we get Trump? Who knows? We'll just have to see, right?